So why is community-developed sex education important? I'm here with Yael Rosenstock, and I'm Kathy Bartoli from the IntimacyDojo.com. Yael, you're speaking at Woodhull Sexual Freedom Summit in a month and a little bit more about community-developed sex education. Why is it important and why should people pay attention to that? So I believe sex education in general is of the utmost importance. I believe that consent and desire-based sex education is a way to eradicate of sexual violence. But I also believe that my experience and my angle at which I come at sex education is not going to be a one size fits all. Mm -hmm. And so it's so important that when we're doing sex education and creating curriculum, that we are creating alongside with anyone who is going to be using it. Yeah. And so our practice is that we survey students, we find out what it is that they are interested in doing, and by we I mean we have students, <laughs> survey students to see what it is that they want us to be practicing. We invite students of different religions, different races, different backgrounds. We want to make sure that we have people who identify as conservative and religious in the groups, and we break out into different spaces to make sure that they're, the work is addressing the different needs. Oh, wow. And ideally, we would do that in a large, large scale. Right now, we're still very, very grassroots, but in, in order for it to be effective, people need to feel comfortable and safe and like their belief systems are respected. Why did you decide that a Woodhull would be a good place to present this and share this? I attended Woodhull for the first time last year mm -hmm. and I found it to be such a beautiful space. Yeah. Um, it was my year or year and a half of sex conferences I attended, oh no, what's it called? Uh, the Desiree Alliance, which is okay. a sex workers mm -hmm. um, conference, which is unfortunately canceled this year due to safety issues, which yeah. is super unfortunate. It's um, so sad. I just, I'm sorry, my blood pressure goes up every time I think about all this mess. No, it, it's terrible. Um, I also attended and spoke at, I spoke there and I, I did uh, Quad S, mm -hmm. so the Society for the Scientific Study of Sexuality, yeah. and then we, NSEC, mm -hmm. National Sex Education. Yeah, in the I Atlanta, in Jersey, yeah. And they were all so different, but I loved the focus on social justice and the, I, I don't actually know what the makeup was overall, but I attempted a lot of uh, spaces and rooms that were POC led. Mm -hmm. And I thought that that was something that was missing from uh, the two of the other conferences I attended. Yeah. And so I was very appreciative to, to see that, to see the justice involvement, mm -hmm. to have this framed as an issue of freedom. Yes. All of that just spoke a lot to me because of most of my work is social justice oriented. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find Woodhall just a very warm, friendly, but very inclusive space. So I'm always honored and I get to meet amazing people like you you there, which I love the networking because we can it can get depleting when you're just fighting the fight in your town, hometown. You might have a couple people, yeah. that community aspect of coming together and seeing other people fighting different aspects. I'm like, I'm not alone, it's okay. Are there any last tips you want to add for people or? I do want to mention something. Yeah. So like I said, I started my my company and I, I have a few projects with different students. Uh -huh. And so one of the projects that we started is called the Diverse Bodies Project. Oh, nice. Yes, and like since we talked about being comfortable with your body and what have you, it's a photo interview project. Mm -hmm. For those who know Honey, it's kind of like Honey, but naked, oh, nice. you know? <laughs> and so it is currently based in the New York area, so in New York City, uh, anyone who's able to get into New York City, so if they're in Connecticut, New Jersey, what have you, and they're able to drive over or take the train or what have you, mm -hmm. or however they get there, we are doing hour-long interviews and photo shoots. And we ask people about their relationship with their body, with society, with self, mm -hmm. uh, their journey with their body and what that's looked like. Yeah. And then we photograph that which they want photographed. Wonderful. Is there a link and so people can find out more or contact? That link I can definitely send you. That one's easy. Okay. Um, I can send that one. So we'll and put yeah, that below in the description. Perfect. But people choose what body parts they want to show, if or not, if they want their face, if they want their name. Nice. Everything is decided by them. And before we are creating a book, so before the book goes to print, I'm going to ask everyone again, even though they sign consent forms, yeah. because we want to make sure everyone is 100% positive about that. I love it. I love it. I really appreciate that. And I think there's a lot we can do to make people more comfortable with their bodies and what, how people are seen. So as a bigger person, I, I value that very much. So thank you. Um, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll try to get Yael to answer them. 
And thank you so much again for being here. Thank you so much, Kathy. I really appreciate it. You